Good morning. It is, uh, what time? Seven o'clock on the button on uh, Monday, August 30th, 2021. I'm Christiana Ellis, and I just got up more or less. This is five more minutes. Trying to make my brain work this morning has been a challenge. It's a challenge that I believe that I am capable of uh, rising to, but uh, it has been a struggle for sure. Uh, after two days in, in a row of uh, staying up late and then sleeping in, my body is resisting the uh, revision or reversion to getting up earlier. So, in any case, I, I went to bed. Uh, I went to bed reasonable at a reasonable hour last night, but still. In any case, uh, here I am, uh, going into the office uh, as soon as I can get myself uh, through this video, and then through a shower and so on. But it's all, it's all good. Yesterday, I spent. Um, uh, I, I did a bunch more of Ghost of Tsushima, and I've now finished Act 1 of the story. Uh, and I, my play style is I do tend to do like all of the side missions and explore all the areas and find all the little question marks and stuff like that. So I, the whole little starting area that you can do is pretty thoroughly explored uh, now, but having before I have now finished the, the story or excuse me, the Act 1 story. And I'm pretty pleased with it so far. Uh, I'm. It's got a really interesting tension, and I'm starting to see, I think, the groundwork for, uh, you know, additional ways to carry the themes forward. But if you're not familiar at all with the game, one of the there, there's two primary layers of the conflict. One is that we have this Japanese island of Tsushima during the time of the samurai. They've been invaded by the Mongols. And uh, so we have the main character who's trying to, you know, rescue his land from the invasion as at the same time he's trying to rescue his, his uncle who is one of the, uh, the feudal lords in this uh, area. Uh, from his imprisonment by the Mongols and uh, you know, so it's basically like a war story on that primary level but another area of the tension comes from uh, the the tactics of the gameplay in the sense that you are often you know, so as as a samurai our main character Jin has you know, often been told that, you know, he has to have this code of honor, he has to do things a certain way, it involves, you know, not acting with uh, duplicity or stealth, but just, you know, challenging your enemy in an honest combat when honorable and so on. But in the game, you're frequently given, first of all, you're certainly given game mechanics uh, that allow you to sneak up behind someone and stab them in the back or, uh, you, you know, attack from stealth and use trickery and that sort of thing. And the game definitely intends for you to use those things. And in fact, you're often given objectives that you can only accomplish that way, you know, like your enemies have hostages or something, and if they detect that you're in their camp, they kill the hostages. And so if you want to save the hostages, you're going to have to sneak around. And, but, so the game, though, is using that to tell a story of this person who's always been raised to believe that he has to behave with this sort of code of honor, but is also being now, so, you know, realizing that if he wants to save his land and his family and his friends from this invading enemy, he's going to have to go against things that he was always taught were part of this code. And the tension there of, uh, what, you know, how he feels about doing that is, I think, interesting. And I'm interested to see more about it because, in particular, there is an element where, in, in a nuanced way, you know, you, you rescue your, your uncle, but the uncle is basically saying, you know, thank you for rescuing me, and of course I'm in your debt, 
but I've heard about some of the ways, some of the things that you got up to, and, you know, we need to be better than that going forward. But here's the thing, it's like, you know, we're kind of on the inside of feeling complicated about that because it's on the one hand, it's like we feel like we do want to have, like it's the idea of this code of honor does feel like it, it should be important. Wouldn't it be great if you could actually accomplish your goals that way? But then on the other hand, maybe you could. Maybe there were some of those times where you probably could have gotten through what you wanted without uh, resorting to that. But then again, are the people asking you to follow this code of honor really all uh, on above board themselves? Is everything really that simple for them? Mm, probably not. And I'm interested to see how that all breaks out. But having a lot of fun with the game so far. And uh, I'll get, leave it there so I can get ready for work. And I will talk to you all tomorrow for five more minutes.